watching Bow Tie Sports. Bow Tie Sports, yeah, Bow Tie. We gon' catch it all from the court side. Got the lights, camera, action for the whole nine. You name it and we got it at the Bow Tie. Bow Tie Sports, yeah, Bow Tie. We gon' catch it all from the court side. Got the lights, camera, action for the whole nine. You name it and we got it at the Bow Tie. All of the sports, you can catch it at the Bow Tie. Commentary special with the bird's eye. You can watch it for your favorite like a franchise. Come and get your info from the Bow Tie. Talk about the plays, it's a rewind. You know that we got it at the Bow Tie. Running through the specs, Nike Reebok. Touchdowns, three pointer, whichever you like. All you gotta do is watch, listen to the game plan. Pinning all the stats for the whole squad. Special teams are the starters and even the main man. Yeah, we do interviews at the Bow Tie. Bow Tie Sports, yeah, Bow Tie. We gon' catch it all from the court side. Got the lights, camera, action for the whole nine. You name it and we got it at the Bow Tie. Bow Tie Sports, yeah, Bow Tie. We gon' catch it all from the court side. Got the lights, camera, action for the whole nine. You name it and we got it at the Bow Tie. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this show on the road. It has been a while now. And I, you know, we back. Dre's back. I'm back. Let's write a man. Let's get it in, man. Let's get it in. How you doing? How you doing? Unmute yourself if you haven't. Let's get this ball on the road, sir. Let's get this ball on the road, man. It's if if you we've been gone, I've been on the road doing the Super Bowl. Uh, also had to do a lot of editing, a lot of family matters, and a lot of stuff. In you know, we had to get stuff done, but we are back. Anything you want to say, Dre? Welcome, well, hello, welcome, guys who haven't watched the show. Just you know, welcome to the both sides sports show. Um, mm -hmm. should be uh, an exciting show today, it mm -hmm. should be. Mm -hmm. It is because guess what, guys? The Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, they they they, they they squeaked it out, but they won it still. Yes, they, they squeaked did. it out, but they won it. So, congratulations to the Chiefs, man. Uh, if you let's get let's get this show on the road. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Uh, I hope you're ready to rumble. debate. Today, let's go. Absolutely. First, we got on the list is the Chiefs versus Eagles. In case you guys missed it, we're gonna go back into the highlights. How you feel about that, Drake? Mm, we'll see. I'll let's get it. That's that soon. <laughs> let's get let's get it on the road, man. He, he said he'd be discussing this, so it, it's you know whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, you gotta love this right here. We had one of the hardest journeys to get where we at today, man. We come here from one goal, just finish, and take what's out. We take it. From the get go, play for yourself, play for each other. I'm going to go out there and win a football game. Play like a dog, three, one, two, three. Yes, sir. Great, baby. Wait till we win this. Let's get it, Tim. Hey, be you, dog, all day. Yes, sir. We got the hardest training camp. We had the hardest camp. We from there. Everything we work for is for this moment. It's going to take everybody. Let's go out there and find a way to track our ass across the finish line. Let's go win a game. Chiefs on three. One, two, three. Love you, bro. Stay healthy. May God bless you. May God bless you. An impressive Philadelphia drive. They've done it all season long. On the first drive, they lead the Chiefs seven to nothing. 
Let's go for us. Let's go for us. All day. Us. Second down and seven from their own 28. Go, go. Three. Mahomes will throw it. Fires it over the middle. He's got Kelsey at the 40, the 45, but up near midfield. Chiefs trot three to the near side. Play fake, rolling right as Mahomes. He will keep it. Sprints, 40, 50 yard line, slides down to a stop in Eagle territory. Ankle looks just fine there. Second and eight, Kansas City at the Philadelphia 18. Seven nothing Eagles. Mahomes in the pocket, floats a pass near side. Kelsey over the shoulder. He's got the catch. He's got the touchdown. That's all day, dog. That's all day. Hey, that's all day, dog. Both teams scoring on their first possessions of Super Bowl 57. We're here. We're here. We're here. No, hey, no third downs that whole drive. Yep. Keep it going. Efficiency. Stay on. Let's get a three and out, man. Let's get a three and out. A little over 12 minutes to go in the second quarter. Hurts by himself in the backfield. Threat to run and throw. Crouches down. He wants to run it. A quarter. Oh, the ball's out. He kicks the ball. It's picked up by Kansas City. They're going to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown! Hurts got hit and kicked the ball. Picked up by Bolton. And the Chiefs defense gets it in. Incredible touchdown at 9.39 to go, second quarter. Hey, Nick, it worked. The guard in the center went with me, hell of a play. Hey, keep going, D. Keep going, baby. Keep going, Bob Bob. The Chiefs can tie the game with this PAT, and they do so with the defensive touchdown against the Eagles. Third and 15, Chiefs at their own 31 ball, slow on the snap. Picked up by Mahomes at his shoe top. Trying to fight for more time to run. He'll scramble. He's at the 35, but he's ankle tackled there at the 36. And he's hurt. He got ankle tackled, and he'll get up limping. A gain of just three on the scramble. Oh, boy. Nightmare material here for Kansas City. He rolled it. He just knew that maybe a tweak, and he's in agony on the sideline right now, Mitch. Yeah. 35 yard field goal attempt for Jake Elliott. 13 to 13 in his career in the playoffs. And Elliott's kick is good. Eagles get the last points of the half. 24 to 14 in Super Bowl 57. This opening drive of the third quarter, Danon. I don't have an adjective that's big enough to tell you how big this one is. I need that energy, Ola. Let's go. 30 minutes, guys. 30 minutes. That seems to be the message here. Just go out and play your game. What are you? What's up? Snap to Mahomes on second and three. Now he slips, stays alive, keeps the ball in the right hand. He'll run it. He's at the 15, got a first down, slips inside a defender, gets all the way to the Eagle five. Dense play of the drive. Second down, goal to go at the one. The blue, right? What's up? They hand it off, left guard, it goes, touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco blasting in behind the block of Joe Tooney, the left guard, and the Chiefs get a badly needed touchdown drive. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's tighten up. Let's tighten up, man. Let's tighten up. This is third and 11. As Hertz retreats on the throw, near side throw, goes to Gainwell at the 15, surrounded, and Bolton takes him down. And this Kansas City D finally gets a stop and will force a field goal try. Let's get it, baby. Hold on. Line. We're ready to go. Let's go. Third down and three here at the Eagles' five-yard line. Don't do a left, 30, XL, 35, black corn dog. Chiefs have not led in this game. They trail 27-21. They're going to throw a quick pass to Tony. He's got it on the edge. He will walk into the end zone. Touchdown. Hey, hey. Let's go. Let's go. And a three and out for the Eagles, their first of the game. Hey, Pat, put one in them, Pat. Sipos will punt, and Tony will take it low at the 35. Now cuts back to the right. He's got a wall set. If he can get to the edge, they can need to block the putter. They do. Tony's at the 40, up the sideline, at the 30. He's at the 20. Tony with the block from the stay and plays down to the five-yard line. Hey! 
and the Chiefs lead 28-27. They'll have first down and goal to go at the Eagles' five-yard line. Hey, everybody, sit down. Sit down, thanks. Sit down. We might have to go back out. Sit down. Sit down. Everybody, sit down. Hey, Willie. Everybody, have a seat. We're going to go back out in a few. Have a seat. Catch your breath. 20, sit down. Two, three, sit down. Everybody, sit down. We're going to have to go back out. Catch your breath. 28-27, Kansas City. Third down, goal to go at the four-yard line of Philadelphia. A fast left side, wide open, Sky Moore, touchdown! Kansas City on a pivot route. Sky Moore did not have a TD in the regular season. He's got one now. Let's go, dog. I got you, baby. Hey, we're in the wrong formation. I know we were. Philly has scored and made a two-point conversion to tie it. Let's go do it, baby. We have the ball. We have the MVP. Have a lot of momentum on our side. We have an opportunity to make matches. The blue at it. that? As Mahomes steps up, he's going to scramble. He's at the 40, bad ankle 30, bad ankle 20. Tackled from behind down to the Eagle 18-yard line, a 25-yard scramble. First down and goal to go at the 10. McKinnon on a counter. Left side at the 10. Go down! And he's going to slide down at the 1. Very smart inbounds. He did not go into the end zone. 11 seconds left in Super Bowl 57, 35, 35, tied. The Chiefs are champions of Super Bowl 57. You're a special guy. You got a big heart. It don't, don't ever change that way. Oh. Do you understand that? Oh, I love you, coach. I just want to shout out my teammates, man. We challenged each other. It took everybody to win this football game. So uh, shout out my teammates. Everyone, Super Bowl champs. Baby. Let's go. For the second time in four seasons, the Lombardi Trophy has a red and gold reflection. Yes, it do. And yes, it do. Let's go ahead and welcome in, D. Uh, <laughs> but let, yes, it do, man. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's back where it is. It's back where it is. It's back where it is. I think D. Silver has a, a technical case. Before we go to remove it, it's, it's okay. But, uh, it's back where it is, Dre. It's back where it is. What do you got to say, sir? I'm gonna say congratulations yeah, to the Kansas you know, there's a bunch of fans out there saying this, saying that. But hey, you... man, will you let me speak, sir? You know, I know you're excited about it. now. Honestly, though, honestly, the uh, the Chiefs earned it. They came out mm-hmm. there, man. Andrew recalled a great game, a great game. Mm-hmm. Uh, he took away the uh, the pressure from the Eagles mm-hmm. uh, front seven. Um. They played a, a, a fantastic all-around game, a fantastic right. all-around game. So, you know, mm-hmm. you got to get credit to, to Big Red, man. And shout-out to mm-hmm. Eric Nienny, too, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, for, for them coming together and creating a great game plan against the Eagles. Yeah, man. It, it, it was great. It was a great game. Um, I was there. Uh, I, had, I had to leave the stadium. I had to leave. I had, man, to, why had to leave the stadium, man. I was there at the W show, man, uh, the, the radio station that I uh, work here in Kansas City. Uh, I was there with them, man, and I had to leave. I was like, I had to leave the stadium because I told them, I said, hey, I feel the energy is going off, man. It's, it's, it's you know, that eagle chant yeah, was, yeah. was it, it was there. And it, it, you know, it, that eagle chant is like, it's annoying in person, bro. Like, Is it worse uh, than the arrowhead? Is, is it worse than a uh, tomahawk chop? Uh. Tomahawk chalk ain't annoying. See, no, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying <laughs> if, if, if you was on, if you on the opposite side, mm-hmm. which one's more annoying? Like, which, which one would you the be eagle, more annoyed with? The eagle, the eagle chair was annoying, bro. It was it was overbearing. It was. I thought we was uh, to be honest with you. I thought we was gonna lose when they came out. Mm-hmm. Is it just you know that that little Uzi saw mm-hmm. and the stadium started rocking? I said. You just felt the you just, you just felt the, the, the tide change a little bit. Yeah, I, I felt right. the energy. I felt yeah. I felt the energy. I felt the energy leaving leaving <laughs> leaving the room. But you, but again, you know I me mean? again, 
It was crazy. He felt so incomplete. He said, "No, I just be at home watching the game." <laughs> yeah, I, man, I, I should, you know, I should be at home watching it, man. I, I should be at home, man. But uh, everybody thought Patrick Mahomes was hurt. Everybody thought he was hurt, like the Eagles players yeah. said. They said, "Is he limping? Is, is he is he limping? You know what I mean? Is he limping? We 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 don't know if he's limping or not. You know what I mean? So this they is what." They thought it was a, an a advantage. They were like, "Oh, he's limping." Hey. Right. This this is actually what happened. Oh, Patrick Mahomes walking to the locker room, man. <laughs> man, <laughs> that ain't a bunch of nonsense, bro, man. He wasn't, he wasn't hurt. Man, come on. He wasn't hurt. He wasn't I, hurt. He, he was. He was. He was there. He was there, man. He man, was there. Man. I would. I would have been. I would have been very upset. I'm like, nah, man, nah, <laughs> nah. You know, but but right. yeah, but let's give a shout out to Hurst too, man. Shout out to Hurst and over there in Philly. Hurst mm-hmm. played a phenomenal game too, man. I, I'm not gonna take nothing away from them, man. They played phenomenal on the other side of the ball, man. So oh, I played the Hurst too, man. I love, I love the comments. Thanks, uh, okay. thanks, girl. Thanks, Ashley. Uh, yeah, it was funny. It was funny. You know, you know, everybody thought he was hurt. Everybody thought he was hurt. He came back out. You know, he he, he walked in there. You know, he came back and did some damage. You know what I mean? But the Eagles were celebrating, bro. They were celebrating on the over there. The Eagles fans. You know what I mean? Uh, you know why so, they were celebrating? You know why they were celebrating? They thought it was over because Mahomes the heartbeat of the team. Mahomes go down, bro. What they gonna do? Right, right. And so my homes went to the locker room. He seen them celebrating a half, and this was happening. <laughs> you silly man! You are silly with this video, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I, I gotta give you credit for that one though. I gotta give you credit for that one. That was funny, man. But uh, but uh, I do, I, I, I do like where they're going with it. I feel like the Chiefs defense is going to get better. Um, <laughs> they said, they said, I'm, that's how I'm weak, man. Y'all made that work. <laughs> hey, it, it fit right into it, didn't it? Did, it? It did, it did. But it did, man. But but you know what? I feel like can't see a growing. I feel like this is a dynasty right now. Because they're on a rookie contract. Everybody on rookie contracts right now. And you can mm-hmm. build from there. You can build right. longevity from there. So, man, hey, I ain't got nothing else but good things to say about KNC and their organization over there. For right. real. It, it, was, it was great, man. It was, it was a great feeling. And also, if they missed it, man, if you missed the parade, you know what I mean? It, it, was, it was nice. A lot of people went down there. It was nice. Uh you was down there too, right, Dre? Yeah, I was down there. I was down there you know, taking the a long kids time. Got, <laughs> the kids got to experience stuff. So, you know, let's see, let's see what happened on that victory lap, man. Let's see. Super 
Super Bowl 57 champion, Kansas City Chiefs. Can they run it back? Can they run it back, Jay? Can they run it back? The city was live. The city was loving it. The city was out there celebrating. They said it was over a million. Over a million out there celebrating with the Chiefs. Um, we had a lot of fans out there. It's just time to celebrate, you know, your city, man. Like, mm -hmm. if you're from Kansas City, enjoy the moments, man. Because these are the moments that some cities I'll never get to see. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some, some franchises never get to see. You got to see it. Twice. Twice. Right. Twice. You know I mean? twice. That's it. Twice. You got to see it twice, man. But enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can. Enjoy the uh the the celebrations. Uh, enjoy the uh, being in the air of Patrick Mahomes. Uh enjoy, man, because this is like this is like that Brady, that Brady era, uh Jordan era, LeBron era. Uh, it, it's, it's everything, man. So there's our what the, up? What, what up? up? What up? up? What's up, D? D. What's up, what D? up? <laughs> we was having technical difficulties. It's time to assemble. I'm still having technical difficulties. What in the world? But but you here? Me, hey, let me just say, say, here. Hi. Hey, say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Hello, everybody. The best model in the goddamn world. <laughs> <laughs> am I okay? Like, am I? I'm not laggy. I'm not laggy to y'all, am I? Am I okay? No, you're not laggy. You're not laggy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. And, and, and December, you know, she used to do the analysis, but she had technical difficulties. But she's here. Uh, you know, she's back. But what we was talking about is <laughs> she had to get herself right. <laughs> what we were talking about is enjoy, enjoy this moment, y'all. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Uh, if you can, man. Uh, it, just rock with it. Just rock with it, man. Just rock with it. Real slow. <laughs> he said real slow. <laughs> real slow. <laughs> so what we got next is uh, Patrick Mahomes. You know what I mean? He's – what we got next? Go ahead. I don't know if she can see it or not. I don't, but we got Patrick Mahomes, oh. MVP. Go ahead. You can see it. Yeah, we got – yep, I got it. Patrick Mahomes, MVP 2022, the Walter Payton Man of the Year. And Super Bowl in Super Bowl MVP, so he's got a lot yeah. going on. This is this is great. Let's hear what let's hear what uh Lil Boosie had to say about I don't bet against it. I don't <laughs> bet he done won me so much damn money like man. Excuse the length. I've been around I've been around a minute. And I haven't seen a quarterback. All the way around, I'm talking about everything better than Trav than that than that guy. Then. You put him, you put Mahomes over Brady. Because uh, Brady, kinda, yeah, 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 but Brady's but, no fucking yeah. Joke. I know Brady's no motherfucking joke, but he can throw accurate as Brady. True. Uh, he can get out the jam way better than Brady. He's that's faster that's than Brady. Mm. Uh, uh, I mean, he's I'm more accurate than Brady. Though. He's, bro, Mahomes throw. He can throw a ball this way accurate. <laughs> have you ever saw Tom Brady do this? No, I'm not. Huh? Have you ever <laughs> no. saw him catch a ball this way? Have you ever, I, I, I didn't see. I don't see people scoring 14 seconds like this shit. That he oh, man. Never seen it. Joe Montana I ain't do it. I, he can beat you in the pocket. That's a bad motherfucker. His daddy said the right fucking thing. Yeah. I never. I was just thinking, I was like, this dude is just good, bro. He's easy. And he's a warrior. I was so pissed off at that other fucking quarterback. What's his name? For the, uh, the Eagles quarterback? No, it was the other one, the game before, the 49. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me just one. If Travis Mahomes, if <laughs> Travis, Travis Mahomes, me, me, Mahomes, not Travis, he like, hit his fucking leg like that on his show. Ain't no way, Trav, ain't no way he coming out that game. He different, bro. Yeah, he is a soldier. 
Let's get into it. You know what I mean? Patrick Mahomes have all these accolades. Uh, they try to put every year. It's gonna be. It's gonna be another quarterback that's up there with Patrick Mahomes. Is they gonna put up there? You know, at the end of the year, they're gonna say, you know, Patrick Mahomes and this person, Patrick Mahomes and that person. Uh, but like Boosie said, excuse the language, everybody. Like Boosie said, I ain't seen nothing like it. Even Tom Brady said, I hope these other guys like Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts, man, is going to play a long time. Then, like, Josh, uh, Josh Allen and all the rest of them boys get out there, you know, do what these guys are doing. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. We can hear you, Dre. What you got to say? But it, it's, it's crazy that we got Patrick Mahomes in our city. Is in our city and everything, you know what I mean? So, we had a little echo on your head, Drew. So, with that, with that said, man, it's 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 crazy that we 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 running it, you know, we running it back like that again, over and over again. Uh, like, ain't like Boosie said, it ain't no, ain't no, ain't no other quarterback like that. Ain't no other quarterback like that. Ain't no other quarterback like Patrick Mahomes. Ain't no other quarterback that's on the level of Patrick Mahomes right now that's up and coming. Uh, could it be somebody that's coming out this draft? Maybe. Uh, could it be somebody that's, uh, that's need another coach behind him like uh, uh, Justin Herbert? You know what I mean? In our division. Maybe. Maybe. But, again, that boy Pat. Is a is a is a, a show record. He's out here, like what you said, throwing the ball, side arms behind his back, everything else. We don't we don't know, right? You don't know. We don't know, and so uh, Patrick Mahomes is a is a god of himself. Uh, <laughs> he's he's doing things that uh, other quarterbacks ain't done. Is he doing stuff that we ain't seen before? Uh, it's crazy. It is crazy. It is crazy. It is crazy, man. It's it's it's, it's crazy. Man. It's crazy that it's 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 another. We got another guy out here doing what he doing, and also, Dre, you got an echo. Yeah, you do. So, uh, so with, with with that said, man, Patrick Mahomes is an unbelievable beast, and what more can you say? Uh, can you say somebody else gonna be just like him? Maybe. Can you say somebody else gonna be at his age doing the things that he's doing besides Brady? Maybe in the near future, but now no. I don't see Josh Allen doing what he's doing. I don't see. I don't see Joe Burrow doing what he's doing. I don't see these uh, other guys that's in his league doing what Patrick Mahomes is doing. No. Amazing, 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 man. So, also he got also he got this Netflix series that's coming out, man. He got this Netflix series that's coming out, and it it it's just like he got a lot that's going on, man. He's like he got a lot that's going on, and also I got to, I got to ask him a question when I was at the Super Bowl uh, for the young generation, man, and. It was crazy. I'm going to have that by the end of the show. I'm going to post it up here by the end of the show. We'll let you guys see. But we got the Netflix on the, series. Too. On the Netflix series, it says that it was announced. Um, Netflix announced a brand new uh, docuseries called Quarterback. Um, it's mm -hmm. set to air later this year surrounding the experiences of three NFL quarterbacks. Of course, the mm -hmm. first one, pa Patrick Mahomes, uh, Kirk Cousins, mm -hmm. and Marcus Mariota. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yes, yeah, it's, it's um, correct. It's, yeah, during the 2022 NFL season. And according to the announcement, these three men were all mic'd up for every game of the season, meaning Netflix mm -hmm. knew exactly who the series oh. was going to focus on before the season. We could, you, you could. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be really neat to watch that. I mean, that, of course, mm -hmm. I know that's going to like, that's going to be one of the highest rate or highest viewed shows on Netflix once that drops. Because mm -hmm. Patrick, I mean, he's in a league of his own for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. So what you got? What you got to say about the accolades, Dre? Before we go to the next set, are right, you still can't hear us? Yeah, 
I think I think he had technical right. difficulties. <laughs> Everybody had technical difficulties this morning, but we, yeah. but we, uh, but we, uh, but like I said, like she said, he got the net, the, the Netflix thing that's coming out. Uh, also, his clothing line, his shoe line. Uh, when I was down there, I got a pair of his, sho- his shoes. Man, I was grateful. You know, what I mean, it was, yeah. it was a blessing. But the thing is, ain't nobody like Pac. Now, like Bucci said, I, I I just seen all these other players. I seen been watching football for a long time. We ain't seen nothing like it. No. You know what I mean? We ain't seen nothing like it. And so it, it's crazy that uh that Pat is doing 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 things like this. It uh it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Got this Netflix thing, you got uh everything else is coming out. So yeah. what you gotta say, Dre? He still can't hear us. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and move into not so serious. Hence, who do we have today? I know, I know you got some. We questions. have, or we people. have, <laughs> we have a few people. We have the, uh, the uh, we have the Eagles fans. Man, uh, it's crazy that they, you know, everybody's saying that, you know, we got hold. It was a holding call. This is this and that, but. We'll see. And then how uh, Tom Kyle was crazy that I've seen uh Juju Smith's posts on Twitter. <laughs> huh. That was crazy that game put good stuff to the like this right after the Super Bowl, you know. And for that bad that uh when it matters the most. <laughs> and they call him these effort. They didn't put that right out there, right on the best of that. The Super Bowl match for the uh, Angles, right on the number that the Eagles stopped that, you know, no doubt going to win that day or they thought it was going to be down there. They couldn't let it drive, but it was an actual drive for them. It was a hounding call to the lot to them losing the Super Bowl. Why would he end? You got to be better than them. You got to be very better than them. It's got to be. It's got to be better than that. Man. It's got to be held accountable for how the people do when it matters the most. You can't be out there getting caught on through the field. You got to be out there balling when it matters the most. And it was kind of get the Philadelphia fans are very crying right now about what happened. On the last play of the Jura life. The last play. It was the last play of the But we went down and the Chiefs could get those, you know, stop the kite, you know, kick the field down. He goes that time on the clock to go score. But Mr. Bradbury himself had that. How when it matters the most. When it matters the most. You had a harm when it matters the most. So. What you got to say about that, DC? I guess the crow would have a speckle of the things. <laughs> well, I'm bad today. And so, wow. They were very kind of that, you know, really that the Jojo talks to them right out there. I thought it was very funny. I said, everybody got a little joker in them. And everybody got a little villain in them. And they meant post that. But I to Twitter and it made the Eagles fans go nuts. That thing nuts. That was crying. That was on his side. Then you had to look at He always talked about it. It was on really down. If that's not Joker, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you right there. So, like that said, the Eagles fans get over it. 
It's not a big deal. He's just getting hired people when it matters the most. Danger. You know what I noticed? Nobody panics when things go according to plan. Even if the plan is over five. <laughs> I'm not a schemer. I try to show the schemers how pathetic their attempts to control things really are. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are tonight's entertainment. Let's. And I'm gonna keep my Joker face on for the rest of the day because I'm gonna be a clown. I'm gonna be a clown for the Eagles today. It's gonna be a clown, you know, for the Eagles today, man. So, Dre, is you is you still having technical difficulties, or are are you good? You good to rock, man? You know, he said he came here. Uh, maybe he need to take off some headphones and have a two glues to his uh, dreads. And maybe that's why he came here. So, uh, as a, as a, as again, as I sit back in my Joker moments, as I uh, actually played my cards right, <laughs> the the Eagles fans just need to just sit back and just enjoy, man. You've been there before, but. You can't be holding nobody in that when it matters the most. No. You really can't. You can't. You know, you really can't. So uh as we go into the next segment of Eric, you know, sticking to the schemes. Uh Dre came here. Maybe his headphones ain't charged. Left him off the the thing at night. But uh <laughs> <laughs> so uh we're gonna go right into uh <laughs> we're gonna go right into uh you know what you got next for us, these ever. You wanna go ahead and I mean they're they're similar topics, so we can go ahead and let's go ahead and jump into Eric B and me um talking about or not Eric B and me, but LaShawn Shetty McCoy talking about Eric B and me. Now okay, let's uh let's get Eric. into it. I hope he doesn't, but I think he will. What's his value? What makes him a good office coordinator? See, the problem is a lot of these people that go on social media, oh, he should be the guy for the job. They haven't played there. They're not in the locker room. I've been in the rooms where he's coaching, and he has nothing to do with the pass game at all, right? When the plays are, are designed, that's Andy Reid. When you talk about officer coordinators, I can tell you what makes Brian Dayball with the Giants a very, very good coordinator. I can tell you what Andy Reid or Doug Peterson. But when I asked about um, Eric B. Enemy, what makes him good? When we watch the film of practices and we correct the, the, the wide receivers, the running backs, the, the quarterbacks, he doesn't talk in there. Andy Reid talks in there. He may say things to the running back because he's an ex-running back coach. I get that. But he has no real responsibility. Now you go from the Chiefs, where you can hide behind Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid. Hey, then you go to the, the Washington, where you got to call plays. You got to run the meetings. You got to run the installs. The last issue I have with him is what makes Andy Reid so great, not the call, the, the play calls, which we see that, which, I mean, that's one of it. But the other thing is, like, adapting to the players. To the enemy, he, my first practice, I couldn't believe it. He dog coaching, he dog cussing the players. Like, and not just the regular players, Kelsey, you know, you know, other players. So it's like, it's hard for me. I'm rooting for him because... He's a black coach, and I love to see black coaches win. Also, he's a running back coach. Running back coach will never get a chance to be your office coordinator. The last one was like Anthony Lynn. So I want that to, 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 to do well for him. But if I have to do my job, to be honest, my thing is just where is the true value at? Is it then, is it have anything to do with him being black in your opinion? Obviously, uh, you ain't Robert Goodell. You don't, I, don't know. You know what? Absolutely not. But people want to win. The color thing, I, I get it. It, we, it should be more black coaches. I definitely believe that. But if you come up from the Chiefs, they want to win. Has nothing to do with the, with the color barrier at all. So. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he said a mouthful. I'm gonna go ahead and read from SportsIllustrated.com. 
and then I'll give my opinion after. Uh, former NFL running back LaShawn McCoy has been publicly critical of new commander's offensive coordinator Eric Bieme in the past, but he took it to another level on Monday, leading to another tailback to respond. McCoy was, uh, was coached by BME when the two were with the Chiefs, and he went as far as to say the assistant coach has nothing to do with the pass game at all, and he has no real responsibility when coaching players. Where is the value at, McCoy asked, and you guys heard him say that uh, in that clip. Another former running back under BME, Jamal Charles, took issue with McCoy's assessment and chimed in with his own opinion, and he disagreed with him. He said that BME taught him many things and that he was a great guy. Uh, my question, I guess, comes in with what led to this, like what prompted this opinion of his? Do you guys, like him, could you help I, me out with that? I, I, I know what happened. You know what I mean? Shady McCoy got benched here in Kansas City, and he can't yeah. take a, he can't take that type of tough, uh, tough coaching. Uh, so, he yeah, you're going to come out, you're going to have a, a bandana against somebody that's gave you a uh, but I benched you, you know what I mean? Actually, you got a ring from the Chiefs, but you was on the bench, you know what I mean? You kept fumbling, and you put him on the bench. Shady McCord just can't take this type of coaching from America, Benny. You got to go back to day one teaching. You know, we talk about football. We're talking about inside zone footwork, reads, you know, our alignments, our assignments. We teaching everything from day one as if he's never heard it again. On top of that, fellas, we will have a third, seven, or ten period. Okay, but still, we got to expect what? Blitz. Blitz. If they don't blitz, now we get out. Okay. I've always been taught professionals are the ones who go out and do the little things and do them great on the day they say they don't feel like doing it. No detail escapes the enemy's eye, and he's never shy about demanding the best to work tirelessly at becoming even better. Yes, sir. You ran a man route, in a zone route. First man today. Yeah, I ran. Damn, man, Rob, was on. I, I, I thought we were back to the last play. That's what I was that thinking. Play, why? That play. I, I, I thought we were back to the last play. Nah, bro, we didn't go back to the last okay, play. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Well, they said it in the huddle, didn't they? That's what I thought. Since we've been together, it's like a marriage. The bottom line, we got to make it work. I'm just telling you what we're going through my mind, because the last play was clearly a bust. What do you call the hook? I'm just telling you what I was thinking, okay? Tiger, Tiger. What do you call the hook? What do you call the hook? It's all last. What did he call in the hunt? All right, whatever. What did he call in the hunt? All right, I'll, I'll tell you what I was thinking, man. Okay, I don't care what you were saying. What did he call? It? All right. What did he call? I don't know. He can cuss me out. I swear I have to say. And maybe five, ten seconds later, you know, we sitting there talking back, you know, to each other, you know, talking, communicating like nothing, you know, ever happened. Get past it, refocus, regroup. Come here. I'm good. No, no, come here. Fake 97 power, naked right, full back slide. We want to sell that thing outside. Whenever we have an argument, we got to go back to day one teaching. You know, we talk. See, he just can't take – Shady just can't take that type of coaching. You know what I mean? And that's, that's and, and, what and, it is. And that's A.G. and Peterson, one of the top running backs that's ever played in the NFL. Shady McCoy, uh, me, uh, Eric Beanie coached Jamal Charles, uh, Kareem Hunt, uh, Shady McCoy, uh, you know what I mean? Adrian Peterson. And now Isaiah Pacheco, a seven round draft pick. And you see what he came out and did behind this man. And like Patrick Mahomes, you know what I mean? Patrick Mahomes, everybody's standing up for him. Even Tyree yeah. Kill that's no longer here. Uh, you know what I mean? It's it, it just crazy that somebody that looked like you be the first yeah. one to throw you up under the bus. And I hate to even bring it to that point, Hence, because. I hate mm -hmm. like like he like he had to do on that show like they had to bring it down to color. Mm -hmm. We're going currently going through a transition where they're trying to have more like diversify the coaches because you know inherently there haven't been that many black coaches, and mm -hmm. for him to come out his own like, and I hate to bring it to race, but it just looks mm -hmm. bad. It just looks bad mm -hmm. that he's really hating honestly, and I'm a I'm a dumb it down to that because. Why come out and say that? Like, why? Um, and it, it, I don't know. It just looks bad. It just looks bad. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that everybody stood up for him. And mm -hmm. Shady Shady is just, you know, he's being shady. That's it. That's all I have to say. Right. <laughs> right. Like, I hate even, it's, it's, no, it's no point in even harping on this. I mean, stop. Like, stop it.
this happens too often where our own like race mm -hmm. just kind of pull mm -hmm. each other down and it's unnecessary. It really I is. think I think Eric B. Enemy is a great coach, man. I, I seen him yeah. like the training camps and how he be yelling at the players. And like he said, yeah, he yelled at Travis Kelsey and all them and, and cussing them out on the sideline. Travis Kelsey has how many rings up under Eric being two? Exactly. How many rings Patrick Mahomes have Eric, up under Eric being two? You know, uh, Tyreek Hill has one. Like Tyreek Hill came out and said, Eric, when I first came to Kansas City, I was a running back, right? He said, I had a deal with Eric Bini. He's the ones that made me who I am. He the one helped me get into like training and, and, and uh, been my uh, better self and made me think better of a man and then outside of football. Yeah. Uh, to hear to hear a shady to come out and say something like that is just crazy that you know they they no they didn't have to pick you up to help them get the ring. They never used you for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you got a ring. And also, you got to ring with the Buccaneers doing the same thing, being a bench water. Yeah. You know what I mean? At the end of your career. And you can't get mad because somebody benched you. And then uh, I think it was benched over Clyde Edwards and Lair, I think. Or uh, maybe I'm wrong on that one. But you got benched, bro. And you can't be salty and then go for this man's career, even though that he's already having a hard time trying to get a job. And you make it yeah. even harder. Yeah. You make it even harder for him. Why? Why? And he had two, he got two Super Bowl rings. He has the number one offense for for a couple of years, uh, ever since he took over our uh, offensive coordinator. And you throw shade like that. <laughs> Look at his name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, shade. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. I just, I just really hate topics like this, um, uh -huh. especially when it's you know, like. Mm -hmm. Like I said, like I told you, DZ, I said, I'm keeping what? I'm keeping the clown mask on. Because he wanted, he, he, if, he, if people want to clown, they act clown. You know what I mean? He just, he just wanted, he, that's what he's been doing today, man. That's what he's been doing it was, today. It was really like a meme, like the way that happened. Like it was like nobody, mm -hmm. nobody at all. And here comes Shady saying mm -hmm. unnecessary things, like giving his opinion mm -hmm. that just, mm -hmm. just that, questioning that, that whole man's career. For, then for Jamal to come out and say, you know, he has head coach. I hope he becomes a head coach. He has head coach uh, potential. Like, right. It's it's, it's just crazy. Job. He just it set himself crazy. up to be like cracked on the rest of his whatever is left of his career. <laughs> yeah, whatever is left. <laughs> like, whatever, whatever is left. He, he he got the media thing. Like we was down there. And I, I ain't gonna speak on it, but like you, you, you see people like, come on, man, you got the little, you got too much of the big head, man. You, you, you feeling yourself, you, yeah, you feeling yourself too much. Um, yeah. End the day, bro, we 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 supposed to rock together, man, and yeah, and like, and, and, and that's what and that's what you're not doing. Uh, so this is why, I like, and I and I, you know, this is a whole other topic, but this is why, like. A lot of people do not take our community that serious because yeah. look, we don't, like, we, don't, we don't we don't shoot the shot for each other. No, we don't support each other fully like we should. And and it's sad that hit that when I seen it, I was like, dang man, he ain't having a hard time trying to get a job in in the NFL, even though he got the resume. And but you you went out there and, and throw more salt on the wounds. You said, you know what? Let me dump. Let me go out here and get the whole salt truck from downtown Kansas City and just dump it on the man. That's, that's what, what he did. did. That's what he did. So it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, how, so, do you, how do you feel? How do you feel personally about uh, Eric going to the Washington Commanders? I feel if I was him, I don't feel like he should have to prove himself. Um, I feel like. Um, it's a lot of clowns in the lead. That's why I left the, you know, the, the Joker man. So, you know what I mean? There's a lot of, there's a lot of clowns in the lead that, that shouldn't be doing what the, what was, what's happening now. Like if the coach is good and all these other people got opportunities when he should have got opportunities, his resume speak for itself. Speaking of one right here, the, 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 the Cardinals, uh, coach, they hired down, man. Like you just lost to the chiefs in the super bowl. You just lost against him in the super bowl. You was coaching defense, he was coaching offense, and he won a ring against you. But you got a job with the Cardinals, right? Yeah. So the, 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 the thing is, like, okay, this man have five AFC championships uh, appearances since he been in the since he been coaching, right? Yeah. 
Uh, Patrick Mahomes have all these MVPs up under him since Eric B. and we took over offensive coordinator. I know, I know, uh, Andy Reid has the say so and the play caller and this and this and that, but yeah. as again, you can, you can see that when I put up the Vikings video, he was doing this before then. He was denouncing his whole position and that, making it seem like he played no part. And that's just, that's beyond disrespectful. Like, yeah, it is. It is. So, with that said, man, go ahead and end us out, Lisa Ever. Go ahead and end us out. Well, guys, we are back. We are back full time. We'll be back on Saturdays, of course, at one o'clock. Um, and hopefully, mm-hmm. no technical difficulties next time. It happens. It happens, man. So, with that, with that said, I want to thank everybody for watching, and we will be back next Saturday at this time, but we, we had taken a different Saturday, so that's why you see us here on Sunday. So, yeah. uh, we'll be back, man. Just keep continuing watching, continue to share. Uh, we up and coming. Let's keep it rocking. Everybody have a good week.